you say that you really care about your patients, then you owe it to them to be the very best doc you can be. I think that when a person goes to the academy and finds out how great it is, they want to become a fellow. And after they do the fellow, some people go, well, what's next? And in my case, it was I wanted to start looking at the diplomate. Becoming a diplomate in the American Academy of Optometry distinguishes you as a special practitioner with knowledge in a particular area. And it also allows you to provide better patient care based on that knowledge. And the Academy is all about lifelong learning. Being a diplomate is just taking that one step further. The Academy's mission is promoting the art and science of vision care through lifelong learning. The Academy has seven sections, each in a specific area of interest within optometry and vision science. Each section has a diplomate program that recognizes fellows in that particular area of optometry who have attained a level of excellence beyond that of the regular American Academy of Optometry Fellowship Program. The Academy is attempting to shed more light on the process of becoming a diplomate, in part by hosting a diplomate information session at each Academy meeting. You know, a lot of people say, well, why would I want to go through the diplomate process? And basically my answer always has been that becoming a diplomate is probably not as important as going through the process of becoming a diplomate. We all grow and learn so much about ourselves as people and as doctors during that process. That's really the value of becoming a diplomate. Well first, you have to become a fellow in the academy in order to be eligible to become a diplomate in any of the sections. The requirements for becoming a diplomate are tailored to the specific focus of that particular section. Here are several examples. We require three different case reports from one section of general optometry and three different case reports of uh, disease management section of optometry and three different case reports from systemic or pharmacological uh, section. And so the cases that, requ that we require are varied based upon being a primary care doctor because we worked for about seven or eight years developing the Diplomate uh, testing program uh, to make sure that it was very objective uh, in terms of written tests, that we were maintaining very high standards, and that it would most importantly be inclusive uh, to the entire Academy membership because maybe 80% of the Academy identifies themselves as primary care practitioners. Basically what we feel is the optometry profession needs the expertise, understanding, and education in public health and environmental optometry, environmental vision actually, uh, in an application of health policies, uh, health administration, and to encourage and facilitate, recognize leaders in these areas. And for those reasons, uh, we have developed this diplomate program that we can advocate for good sound public health policies that keep us visually and otherwise healthy throughout our lives. The optometric education section is the latest addition to the roster of sections providing a diplomate program. And the section has been around for a while, but up until two years ago, we did not have a diplomate process. Um, I'm really excited about it. We have four people in the process now, so no one has achieved that goal. For myself, it's a really, I think, a way of learning more about educational process and really it's something that will help me teaching as a faculty member and help my students learn. And while the requirements for attaining a diplomate may vary by section, the focus on learning is a constant for all seven sections. Well, the process going through these 10 case reports tends to make us do more research into a particular topic. So most of us come into this thinking that we know a great deal about the contact lens industry and the products, but what we find very quickly is that there's a lot of information out there that's tangential that we might not even have thought about. And by going through this process, we learn what we didn't know before, and that makes us better clinicians. Um, it's very involved. There's several tests involved. You have to write 10 cases. It's, um, but I think it makes you better. And once you've done that, then you can sit for your oral examination. And the oral examination is basically um, a conversation between you and three other diplomates currently in the section. 
and it is a two-hour examination, which will leave you wrung out, but for feeling fulfilled. This afternoon, I had the privilege of listening in on the oral interview, the final step for someone that's going through the Low Vision Diplomate program. And so in the room, we had a candidate from Florida being interviewed by someone who is the chair who is in Alabama, and someone on the committee that was from Boston, and another that had come in from South Africa, and they were talking there about how we really take care of our toughest patients. Um, and not just what it says in the textbooks, but you know, what are you really finding as your outcomes with that novel strategy? How is that working? And it just reminds me why we do this. The caliber of the discussion was just astonishing. Um, talking about a whole, they covered a whole gamut. It was amazing the range of things that were covered. Things that matter deeply to our patients. Following the successful completion of the diplomate requirements and examinations, the new diplomates are introduced to their peers at the Academy's banquet. It's a lifelong learning process. And, it, and once you become a diplomate of a section, it's, it's a lifelong association with colleagues that share the same interests that you do. Um, it's really like having in the section on cornea contact lens and refractive technologies, 200 new family members because we become friends over this lifetime of doing these processes. Taking the first step toward achieving diplomate status in your chosen section is simple. Um, on the website, the criteria is described, so that would be really the very first place to go and look for it. Um, if there's any questions after that, we do have a diplomate chair. If you want to become a diplomate, you need to download the application on the Academy's website and send it in. You know, it's really one of those things where you, you think you're here, or you might think you're here, but after the process, you're here. And eventually, you're going to be striving to be here. But you have to start someplace, and I think that going through this process is really well worth it. Um, and, and this creates an opportunity um, where we can work together to say, what really is the best we can do for patients? How can, how can we configure that? How can we make that happen? How can we help each other to do that for our patients. Um, and the Academy creates an amazing forum for that.